Hello and good morning students. Today we are going to see the lesson 3.4 Shushruta a peep into the past. A lesson Shushruta is a story of a teacher called Shalihotra and his disciple that is called Shushruta who were great veterinarian or animal doctor. It also discuss the importance and a history of veterinary medicine so let us start to read the story uh, that is part 1 and as well i am going to explain it shushruta was indeed a bright student of veterinary medicine veterinary medicines means it's related to medical treatment of animal his teacher Shalyotra once decided to test him. He asked Shushruta what all he would need to perform a surgery on a wonderful horse. Surgery means uh, it's a uh, treating the damage part of uh, anybody. Shushruta very quickly listed down all the instruments and the medicines that would be needed. Three things are missing. Shalyotra said because he had checked the list what he has made that list means uh, Shaliot, uh, Shushruta and Shalyotra told him said him three things are missing so confused Shushruta looked at him I will give you a week to find them Shalyotra consoled curious to find out what those three things were Shushruta observed his teacher carefully for the next one week. Before operating the horse, Shalihotra observed every part of the horse. And then Shushruta found the first missing thing that was a good veterinarian should have an eagle's eye. Means sharp eye, observing very keenly. Then Shalyotra treated the animal as if it were his own, balancing science and compassion equally. And lo, Shushruta found his second rule. A good veterinarian should have a lion's heart. A big heart should be there. Shalyotra helped the horse recover after the surgery. Shushruta came to know that a good veterinarian should have a mother's touch too, kindness, it should have love. Later in his life, Shushruta wrote a book on surgery. Now here second part is there on page number 65. You can see the pictures of animals. Part 2 a tradition of veterinary therapy that is treatment of disease developed very early in India and this has survived to the present time based on the Ayurveda. Indian veterinary medicine is known for its specialized literature which provides information on ancient methods of preventing and treating diseases of animals. Some of these treatments little known outside India are still practiced today. The oldest existing veterinary text from India is a treatise entitled Ashwa Ayurveda Siddhan Complete Ayurvedic System for Horses attributed to Shalihotra attributed means regarded to be the cause of around 2350 BC the founder of veterinary medicine subsequently or happening various treatises on horses and diseases of horses were composed Nakul or Nakulas, one of the five Pandav, was a horse specialist himself. 
Among the best known work of animal literature is Ashwa Chikitsa or Therapeutics of Horses. Therapeutics means a branch of medicine with the treatment of disease. Written by Nakul or Nakula. Shushruta, a disciple of, uh, disciple of uh, Shalihotra, wrote on animal surgery. This made people aware of surgical methods, dressing of wounds, bandaging of uh, fractures, etc. Later, during the vision of Chandragupta Maurya, around 300 BC before Christ, veterinarians started accompanying armies to treat horses, elephants as well as cattle. The great emperor Ashoka erected the first known veterinary hospital of the world. He arranged cultivation of herbal medicines for men and animals in his empire and adjoining kingdom, giving the animal general tonics, tonics means medicine in liquid form and stimulants was practiced in order to ensure good mental and physical health. Prevention of the occurrence of diseases was also given importance. Cleanliness of animals, maintenance of stalls and stables, quality of food, Disadvantage, uh, disadvantages of overfeeding were looked after. Utilization of animal by product was also done wisely by our ancestors. Conversion of milk into butter, ghee, curd, khawa, etc. was a common practice and still is. Chicken was utilized for its meat while sheep was utilized for its wool. Although India has always had immense knowledge in the field of veterinary sciences, it is not chosen as a career by many due to, due to a lack of awareness being an agricultural based country today. India needs more veterinarians who emp empathize empathies with animals and give their same percent to the profession. Empathies means to understand another person point of view. Written by or collected by Dr. Chirantan Matkari. See on page number 66 you can see the pointers. Question number one, you have to solve. Answer the following questions. A to F. Thank you all.